With so many options, it can be difficult to decide what to watch on Netflix. While the streaming service has many well-known TV shows that get a lot of publicity, like Stranger Things, House of Cards, and the numerous Marvel shows, there are other shows on Netflix that deserve more attention that more people should be watching. So we've come up with a list of 10 hidden gems on Netflix that are available to watch right now. Those included in this video will be Netflix originals, along with TV shows seen elsewhere first before being acquired by the service for rebroadcast. Coming up next on Tech Gumbo. First up is the Canadian-American historical drama, Frontier. The series stars Jason Momoa as Declan Harp, an outlaw trapper who leads a campaign to remove the Hudson's Bay Company's monopoly on the fur trade in Canada. Harp devises a scheme to plunder Hudson's Bay and sets a trap for their leader, Lord Benton. If you're a fan of the show's Peaky Blinders or Taboo, Frontier should be on your watch list. The first two seasons are available now. The series has been renewed for a third season. Up next is the science fiction thriller Dark, which is the first German language Netflix original series. Often compared to Stranger Things, many people feel that Dark is better than that show with a more compelling storyline. The first season of Dark is about children that go missing in a small German town. When this happens, its troubled past is exposed, along with fractured relationships among four families as they search for the kids. The series begins in the year 2019 and involves time travel to the years 1953 and 1986 due to a wormhole beneath a local nuclear power plant. If you're put off by shows that have subtitles, the audio in dark has also been dubbed into English, French, Italian, and Spanish. Netflix has renewed dark for a second season. If you're looking for a comedy to watch, F is for Family may be what you're looking for. This animated American sitcom is set in the 1970s and is inspired by the life of comedian Bill Burr, who co-created the show. The series follows the daily events of the Murphy family and celebrates the time period with nostalgic details. If you're offended by politically incorrect humor, you may want to stay in your glass box and watch something else instead. For the rest of you, F is for Family has two seasons on the streaming service now and has been renewed for a third season. River is a British drama miniseries starring Stellan Skarsgård and Nicola Walker. Stellan plays Inspector John River. Considered a genius, he is haunted by the ghosts of murder victims while pursuing the killer of a colleague. There is only one season of River with a total of six episodes. There is good news. They do conclude the storyline in the final episode. The End of the Effing World is a British dark comedy drama with a seriously mucked up storyline. Based on a comic book series, it's about two 17-year-old outsiders named James and Alyssa. James believes himself to be a psychopath, and Alyssa doesn't feel like she fits in at her new school despite being popular. They end up embarking on a road trip together to find her estranged father. Along their journey, they get caught up in a trail of violent events that become more ominous as their quest progresses. Season 1 was released on Netflix in January of 2018. There's been no word yet if there will be a second season. The Five is a British murder mystery series about four childhood friends that reunite more than 20 years after a five-year-old boy goes missing when the DNA evidence at a crime scene is revealed to be that of the missing child. There are plenty of twists in the story. If you're looking for a series with the same feel as Broadchurch, which is also on Netflix, the Five is worth checking out. It's been renewed for a second season. No release date has been announced yet. Up next is Money Heist. The series gets recommended quite a bit in the other Netflix videos on this channel. I finally checked it out and it's a really good show. The Spanish crime thriller is about a professor that hires a group of criminals for a grand heist targeting the Royal Mint of Spain. If you don't speak Spanish, there are subtitles, and it's been dubbed into other languages, including English. The first season on Netflix has been split into two parts, consisting of 22 episodes. Money Heist is a limited series, so a second season is not likely to happen. Happy Valley is a British crime drama that follows a strong-willed police sergeant dealing with a personal tragedy while investigating cases in a small town in Northern England. The series features excellent writing and the acting is superb. 
Two seasons are available to watch right now on Netflix. The speculation is that there will be a third season, but no official announcement has been made yet. Schitt's Creek is a Canadian sitcom created by Eugene Levy and his son Dan. The series is about a wealthy couple who find themselves completely broke after the government confiscates much of their money. They're now forced to live in a small town they purchased years ago as a joke called Schitt's Creek. This is not your typical sitcom. There's no laugh track, and the comedy is slightly off-center. It's similar in tone to shows like Arrested Development and Curb Your Enthusiasm. Three seasons of Schitt's Creek are available to watch now, with the fourth coming soon, and has been renewed for a fifth season. The Last Kingdom is a British historical drama based on the Saxon Stories novels by Bernard Cornwell. The series is set in the 9th century during the reign of Alfred the Great. The story follows a Saxon-born character raised by Vikings who seeks to claim his ancestral birthright. The acting and writing are top-notch, but I'll warn you now that the battle scenes are extremely violent. The first two seasons were produced by the BBC. Both seasons are available now. The third season is being produced by Netflix, which will be broadcast exclusively on the streaming service. The release date has not been announced yet. If one of your favorite TV shows was not mentioned and you think more people should know about it, let us know in the comments so we can check it out. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe and ring the bell notification icon for more top 10s and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.